Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to implement stacks using arrays and we will be using the C language. So stack is a basic data structure which uses the last in first out model. Such type of data structure is useful in many applications. For example, if you want to find the binary number of a decimal binary equivalent of a decimal so stack us uh, usually has two functions push and pop function so let's see how to write the code for a stack using arrays stack is something like this suppose the user wants to enter 4 so 4 will come in the last position then if he wants to push the element 6 it will come here then if you want to if he wants to push 1 it will come here now if the user wants to pop then the last element which was inserted into the stack will be automatically popped out if the user calls for the function pop once again 6 will be popped out and finally if pop is called once again 4 will also be popped out now let's see the code uh, since we are going to use um, stacks using arrays we will declare an integer array let's name it sta 10 let us just assume that we have the functions push and pop so suppose the user wants to insert 10 then we'll type push 10 then if he wants to push 1 1 push now we will call the, call the pop function let us assume that the pop function exists we will be defining it later in the video pop and then finally we will display the elements in the stack now we have to define the functions push pop and this disp so push so now we'll define push function return type is void push it will take one argument int let me a int a then pop function void pop int b Finally, we have the display function TISP. Now we also have to declare a variable called top integer variable top and set it equal to minus one. Minus one represents that the top. the top uh, integer is here in minus 1 as the user enters a push function the top variable comes here 0 for another push it will come here 1 similarly as and when the push function is called top will be incremented by 1 and as and when the pop function is called it will uh, top variable will be decremented by one so suppose now pop function is called top will be decremented to zero from one okay so now in the push function we have to take care of the boundary conditions so here we have declared that the integer array the maximum size of the integer array is 10 so 
if top equal to equal to 9 we will print out stack overflow else we will increment top and then insert the element which is passed as argument A in the integer array so our integer array is STA sorry we have to make this integer array also global variable now top plus plus SDA top equal to A now for the pop function for the pop function you also we have to check for the boundary conditions if uh, the top variable is equal to minus 1 then we have to print out stack underflow if top equal to equal to minus 1 that means no element exists in the stack then we have to print stack underflow else top will be decremented <coughs> we don't have to delete the element from the array if push function is called after a pop function the previous element will be overwritten now for the display function we will loop through the integer array that is a stack from i equal to 0 to i equal to top we will declare a integer i for i equal to 0 to i less than top i plus plus less than equal to top and then we will print the element person d and here we will put sta i so this so this piece of code should work now if i run this code i should get 10 138 38 popped one popped again push i should get 10 and 40 so let's see if it's working and uh, here we have an error two of your arguments two function pop oh pop will not be taking any arguments sorry so now it should work yeah so we are getting the output the required output 10 and 40 so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos on data structures thank you